Yo, what up? My name is Freddy, Swift Style Garcia, and welcome back to the channel. All right, so on today's video, we finally have the highly anticipated Reloop Spin portable turntable to unbox and take a look at. Now, this is the full retail version. This is available now. I will drop a link or two down below if you're interested in picking this guy up. So yeah, real quick, big shout out to Reloop for sending this over for us to take a look at. Uh, we have a few videos to film with this because there's some parts that are coming out. But today, like I said earlier, we're gonna have a first look and see what comes in the box. So without further ado, let's open this thing up. Actually, before we crack this guy open, let's take a second to admire this box. It is really exciting, at least for myself, to see products in the portable market get some legitimate packaging. Uh, also, shout out to DJ Babu, that's the homie. Uh, if you didn't know, I helped Babu out with the promo for his looper. That looper is actually included with every unit. So you'll be able to get a download code uh, inside here with purchase of a reloop spin. There's also a seven inch record included inside this box. Uh, I know the producer of that, but I gotta keep that on the low. So yeah, this should be an all-in-one. You've got your beats to cut to, you've got your samples to cut with, and you have your unit to cut on a portable turntable. This is dope. So yeah, enough talking. Let's see what's inside. I'm hoping that the seven inch record is inside here. Because it's between two pieces of cardboard, that would definitely be the best way to ship it. Yeah, there it is. And this is definitely the first production unit ever that has come with a seven inch record. So let's check that out first. Spin and Scratch by Reloop. Here's our instruction manual, but uh, yeah, we don't need that. We'll put the slip mat to the side for now. And there she is. So for those of you who don't know or just don't know anything about the portable turntable scene, it's to my understanding that Reloop got the tooling from the original Vestax Handy Tracks and pretty much put all the bells and whistles that the portable scene has been asking for to make this a nice portable cut tool. So here we go. All right, so here it is, the first look at the Reloop Spin portable turntable. Now looking at it right away, I can definitely tell you that the platter and the tone arm also made their way from the Vestax Handy Tracks, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because a lot of people, including myself, like the feel of this platter on the Vestax. And I could tell you that this one feels exactly the same. Let's get this tape off. So all the bells and whistles are everything that you see here and obviously here. We've got a built-in crossfader, we've got our start-stop button, a Bluetooth pairing button. I'm not sure how I feel about an actual tooth being on there. Uh, yeah, I wish they would have used the Bluetooth logo, not a tooth. A USB record feature, I'm definitely gonna dive into that. I'm curious on how well that works. Here's our pitch knob. Now I don't believe that this is an ultra pitch or that it goes down to negative 50, but I'm not 100% sure. Here's our tone for some basic EQing. Our auxiliary in knob so we can adjust our beats that are coming from our phone, our tablet, or any other device. And then our main volume knob. It also seems like our start stop button is a latching switch. So it'll go down when you press play and then go up when you press stop. All right, so taking a look at the side here, we've got a single speaker right here on the left side, right next to our auxiliary in. On this other side, here's a five volt two amp USB connection to power this guy up, our power switch, our master out via RCA, and we've got a quarter and eighth inch headphone out. Uh, now this is the one that I'm interested in. This is a USB record, and that links 
to this button right here. We'll probably do a separate video or definitely show you what that's all about in the main review video. All right, so here's a look at the slip mat that's provided by Reloop. It's pretty thin. It's not butter rug thin, but it's very close uh, to a butter rug. I mean, honestly, a portable slip mat is a portable slip mat. These records are light enough. You shouldn't be having to look for ways to make your record lighter uh, than it already is. All right, so last but definitely not least, this is our crossfader section. You can see we've got two slots, one with the provided crossfader. Damn, that's actually a pretty large throw for a portable. I'm not sure the size, but not bad. I like that. Now we will be making more videos showing you guys all of the accessories that are gonna come out for the spin. Uh, we already have the Jesse Dean portable crossfader for it. Innofader is sending over their faders. I believe Jesse has shipped or is shipping over his portable tone arm. You guys know that platters will be coming and all of the good stuff. So yeah, more portable turntables hitting the scenes are more manufacturers getting involved in the portable market. It's actually good for us users because now we have more to choose from. And the price that these units are selling for already ready to go out of the box. There's no reason why you can't have multiple. All right, so I've got a power brick here. Let's plug this guy in and make sure that it turns on. I will say that I wish they would have used USB type C on this because I had to go dig for this type of connection here. And here we go. And the button definitely works like a regular table. It's just weird seeing it go down and then push back up. Either way, let's put the record on. Let's see what we've got on here. Break it down. Break Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Yeah, definitely not ultra pitch. thing that I also just noticed Break it down. is there is no hamster button to switch which side our cut is in on. Break it down. That's pretty odd. Break, break, it, break, it. break it down. Yeah, definitely no hamster switch. So if you cut hamster, I believe you're gonna have to unscrew this and then flip it and put it back. But if you cut both, you've gotta <laughs> stick to one, I guess. Definitely loud. Louder than I expected. Another thing that I should mention is the speaker being right here, the sound being projected right in front of you, that's kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that. Usually the speakers are up top or on the side, but you can definitely hear it well if you're standing in your traditional position. Definitely a Vestax platter, that feels great. Stay tuned to the channel. We'll give you guys a first cut video, and then I'll start showing you some of the accessories for this bad boy, including replacing these faders. But I will say this, the faders that are on here feel pretty good. Uh, I mean, if I was buying this for an all-in-one unit and I was traveling and I just wanted to cut, I'd be happy. But obviously a crossfader upgrade is a good thing when you're into scratching. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure if I just haven't found it or if I have to press a few buttons to get it, but there was no hamster on this. And I could, yeah, I mean, I wish that that was there. I'm hoping that I don't have to have cuts on both sides if I want hamster to be an option. Uh, also, another thing that I'm hoping for is that we can hook up two crossfaders and possibly turn one of these into a line fader and the other one into just a basic crossfader. But that's something that I've got to figure out. I will spend some time with this and put out some more videos uh, here soon. 
Today's video was only intended to be an unboxing and a first look at the new Reloop Spin. If you guys have any questions or want to see anything special on this unit, let me know down in the comment section. Make sure to share this video with all your homies. That's it for today. Keep scratching. Peace.